button here? Huh? Oh. <laughs> it's my belly button. My pregnancy with Juno was really different from my pregnancy with Ruben right from the start, and I had a feeling that, I, you know, this was going to be a girl. It's not just dealing with the daily struggles of being a mum that Aidan's had to cope with, as she also suffers with bouts of depression. I've always been a worrier. Like, when I was at school, I was always described as conscientious and diligent, but my brain just likes to take things to the next level and I can't switch off. A few months after baby Juno joined the family, Aidan decided to come off her medication. I'm going to continue to stay off the antidepressants for now and just see if there are things that I can start to work into my routine with me and the kids. Um, just to help break up the day a bit better and help me recharge my batteries so that I'm not constantly pouring from an empty cup. So, yeah, we'll see how we get on. But soon enough, the pressures of two demanding children to look after is starting to take its toll. It's just admitting that it's hard sometimes, you know, and it's okay for it to be hard. I love my children so much. Um, I knew that it would be a challenge having a toddler and having a newborn. You not like your joggies? <laughs> The same, the same joggies that we wear in different colours every day. I thrive on having a busy life and a busy house, but I think it's okay sometimes to admit that it's hard. And just now, I am finding it hard. Yesterday was quite a big day for me. I have decided after five months to go back on the antidepressants. I gave it a really good shot. And to be honest, I have no problem with being on antidepressants. If anything, it's just really counterproductive to feel like I want to be a martyr and not to be on them. When in reality, I am the best version of myself, for myself and for my kids when I'm on them. I think the biggest thing for me right now is that I'm enjoying being a mum again. I'm enjoying it. I'm not dreading things and really, really worrying about things to the point that it just sucks enjoyment out of everything. I'm feeling better in myself as well, silly little things like getting my hair done and my lashes done and my nails done, which I know are all very materialistic things, but it, it's claiming back little bits of me. While for some mums, even a splash of lippy is a major milestone, Aidan has gone one step further, returning to her job as a TV and film art director. I'm really enjoying being back, really enjoying being creative and doing what I love. Maternity leave as a freelancer, like when you're self-employed in your own limited company, you do get the bare minimum. So I didn't take off as much time as I wanted to, uh, basically because I five month job came up and I, I couldn't say no, I needed the money. We do work really long hours. I leave for work at about quarter past seven in the morning and I often don't get home till half seven at night, especially when we're filming. Um, but I love it, I love designing sets and painting and making props and being creative. Yeah, hopefully it can continue. And I know a lot of people, a lot of people I work under who have obviously got kids and have been able to, to make it work. Mummy's going to work. Can I have a big kiss? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. A big kiss. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Bye, Ruben. Bye, Juno. Bye, Bronson. Bye, Peaches. Bye, Daddy. Bye. <laughs> right. When the mum guilt creeps in, I just have to say I'm doing it for them and for Pete. At least somebody had a good sleep. The most difficult thing I think actually about getting back to work has been the fact that the kids are so unsettled now at night. As a parent, you know, you're strong and you can do anything, but you can't do everything when you're tired. It's, um, I understand now why they use that as like a torture method, like sleep deprivation, because it's tough. But with family and friends supporting her, 
Aiden is well placed to juggle her career, depression, two wee ones, a cat, a dog, and whatever life throws at her. <laughs>